Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is March 23rd of 2017, and it is uh, 7.30 a.m. This is a Thursday morning. I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone, uh, so I don't have to have the headset on. Uh, in a few days, my ex-wife and grown son are going to move in here uh, so we have uh, we're going to be able to reduce our overhead because we're both we live next door to each other we're both paying for uh, apartment rent we're both paying for internet service we're both paying for electricity and so forth and so on so we're going to reduce our overhead and I think this blue yeti will be uh, will help cut down because it's going to be noisy. It's going to be noisier around here, uh, which I don't object. I kind of like when I watch somebody's video. I video when I watch videos, and I've been that way for years and years before YouTube. I'm interested in the background and pictures they have on the walls and all that type of stuff. And also, I don't mind hearing a dog barking in the background or. Or whatever, I, but I guess it, I guess it depends on the type of uh, video that you're, you know, putting out. But anyway, I've decided to go back to the blue <coughs> Yeti. My my ex-wife will be he, she plays her television twenty four hours a day and, and loud, so I think this may help uh, cut down. Although I may need to change its position to cut down on the noise from the background. Uh, as you can tell, I'm feeling a little bit better. Well, a lot better. Man, I had this cold that hung on and then it went to a cough and uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm better now. Uh, I, well, you probably wonder why this is on the screen here. Uh, I, well, let me go, let me, uh, I purchased a Samsung Chromebook Plus. Uh, it has a touch, has a touch screen. Uh, has a stylus that's built into it, or not, you know, has a stylus that, uh, I'm not going to do a review on, I may tell you later on about, um, uh, this is really neat. It has a, I love the fact, the idea that it has a stylus. When you pull the stylus out, you have the the tools that pop up. But even if the tool didn't pop up, you can touch and then it. Uh, but it, uh, you can take notes with it. Uh, you can draw on the screen. All types of all types of stuff. Like I said, there are a, because before I purchased this, and the price, as you can see, was four hundred and nineteen dollars. But I also bought a hundred and twenty-eight gig micro SD card for it. So it, it all to get in taxes, had to pay taxes, uh, and it was about five hundred dollars. Uh, and as you know, I had a Chromebook in the past, which I was not happy with. Like I said, <laughs> I don't want to do a review on this. I don't intend to. But I will tell you some of the stuff if you watch these videos from time to time. I'll say, hey, this is this works well, this doesn't work well. The screen is fantastic. And it, and I watched all the, well, not all of them, I guess, but for the last couple months, I've been watching every YouTube video that I could, could find on this. And, of course, a lot of the reviews are uh, people talking about it. We're talking about uh, this compared to the, which isn't out yet. This is the uh, Plus and the Pro will be out in, I think, a month or so. Be about $100 more. But uh, it has a great display. And I love this. I love touch screen. This is the first time I've had a touch screen, I think. Well, you may have a touch screen on some small device. 
but uh, first time for for a touch screen um, the the key and everybody I think everybody agrees with it uh, the keypad the, the key keyboard is not the greatest uh, doesn't feel the greatest the keys have been cut down in size a little bit so when you go to hit a a backspace or uh, <clears throat> something you may hit something else next time let, until you get used to it uh, trackpad I, I of course I hate laptops and I had a Chromebook before uh, one of the original Chromebooks that came out I didn't care for I had it for two weeks uh, well, I had it for long but I took it to Washington DC for two weeks and as you know if you watched the videos I was not happy with it I hated it uh, and the, I don't like it. I don't like, I like desktop computers. Um, so anyway, the the screen display is, is, is just great. And it now does Android apps. I haven't, I just got this yesterday. I haven't had much time to play with it. But, uh. I could live without it, but I'm hoping to put it to some good, you know, some good use. Um, but I'll be telling you about it, I'm sure, from uh, from time to time. So this is the box that it came in, and oh, it does not have any USB ports. It has Type C ports. Which I, I like the Type C thing in that you can charge through either one of them, and also you don't have to worry about which is upside with a Type C. It doesn't matter upside, you know. It goes in no matter what. Now um, you can purchase for I think they're nine dollars each, or is it? Well, on Amazon and I'm sure other places, a little thing that. You put in there that is uh, goes into Type C, and then you have a, a USB port. Uh, I just happen to have this. I'll put the link to. Except I have the silver one, but this is a gold one, and it's uh, twelve dollars. And I just happen to have it here. I think I reviewed it in the past. I did. I think well, that was the thing. I reviewed it, and. Uh, so this gives you, you plug in to the type C and it gives you four 3.0 USB ports, which you know are backward compatible to 2.0 or whatever. So luckily I've got that. Uh, I'll probably talk about some of the apps and uh, let me do this. I think where's the camera here? The the uh, the camera isn't uh, isn't all that great, but I, who I, you're not I, my I would not want to carry around this in order to take some kind of pictures or I mean it might be great for it'd be this would be fine for uh, uh, doing a Skype or, or whatever. I, oh, I guess the, the other big big factor about this is. Uh, well, of course, if, if you know about Chrome, you know, it starts up right away. It's, that's really great. But this is also, you can use it in tablet form. And it's touch, touch screen. And a uh, little bit of awkward for me, it feels awkward, is that, you know, as soon as you switch, you know, you fold this over and you can use it in tent mode or or uh, whatever and like I said it's uh, but I feel the keyboard on the back now the keyboard is not activated but <laughs> it just <coughs> took me a while to get used to it whoops so uh, I didn't want to talk too much about that so I guess this is I think I'm over 10 minutes um so I'll put a link to this, and I'll put a link to, uh, and remember, by the way, these Amazon links 
underneath my, uh, if you click on it, even if you don't want to buy this, if you click on that and go, if you're going to buy something from Amazon, please click on the link, go there. And when you buy something else, I will get a commission. So, um, what I, did I want to, oh, okay, this. I just ordered this uh, about because I found it on um, I found it on what site was that anyway uh, it's this is not apparently on Amazon yet but I just went to Logitech and of course I have a lot of I have like I have bought every Logitech, not everyone, but I bought all the good Logitech cameras, and I've bought keyboards and mice. Uh, this is a Logitech mouse, the uh, G502. Nice mouse. Um, but a site just talked about this, and it's a keyboard and mouse combo for $99.99, $100. And it's set up, I think it's free. So it uses Bluetooth or RF, radio frequency or whatever. Uh, I think it's three, three devices. So what I can do is I can have the <laughs> mouse and keyboard and I can set up, hook up my uh, computer that's running Linux, and I can also uh, pair it with this. So I can have one keyboard that will switch between any, you know, any of them, one mouse that will switch between any of them without me having to physically do anything. And uh, so it's just the, the monitor now I could bring, well, of course I, you know, I, I wouldn't need the monitor for this. Of course I could hook it. Uh, the Linux computer, I could plug into my, this monitor here, or I could just have a little separate monitor for the Linux computer. Whatever. So anyway, I ordered this. So I will do a review on this since it's brand new when I, uh, when I get it for y'all. Uh, like a, the, I'm not sure how good the mouse is going to be compared to their Logitech, you know, 502. <clears throat> I like this keyboard, but as I mentioned before, some of the some of the markings on the on the keyboard. So I'm not sure how this is going to be because they are somehow marking the the keyboard it doesn't change but on the keyboard uh, if you're using apple ios or if you're using windows or linux or something the the, the key might be marked a little bit differently so i'm not sure how that's going to work out uh so Now that I went to this microphone, I I recorded a, I'm not sure how this is going to come. I could splice this into the video, but I'm not going to do it. I'm lazy. So here is the sound test again. This is because I did a review before of the uh, headset, the uh, Sadie SA-10, which I recommend. And the... And the SA-10, I believe, is the one that uses 3.5 jacks. And, you know, check to make sure I'm correct on this. And it, um, uh, can be used with, by the adapter, with, okay, wherever that is. You can hook it into your computer. You can use it with play, play, you know, PlayStation, Xboxes, and those. Where the USB uh, headset that I reviewed for you, you couldn't use with a game machine. It was strictly for your, strictly for your computer. 
Uh, here is the sound test. I'm not sure how accurate because I'm not going to splice it. I'm just going to play it. Here's the sound test of the microphone with the for the uh, uh, SA810. Okay, testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. I'm testing the. Ah, I'm going to show you. Sadie's SA810 headset. Testing the microphone part right now. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Now here is, uh, I guess there's no reason to uh, <coughs> demo this one, but this is the Blue Yeti microphone test. Okay, I'm testing the Blue Yeti microphone again. I switched to it. Not sure what I've got the, the thing on the back set to. the gain. I'm going to turn the gain up here. There. I increased the gain a little bit. So is this the microphone I'm going to use? I'm not sure. So, and of course uh, I have done a review and a lot of people have done. You can find on YouTube tons and tons of reviews of the Blue Yeti microphone and it's highly recommended. And it's a USB uh, microphone. So I think that's... Um, I'm, I'm toying with telling you something and then... And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to you. Uh, here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I know someone who uh, went to a... Applebee's in uh, Irwin, I think it was, Texas, and came out and came out of Applebee's after eating there. Or was, or were they picking up something? I can't remember. And a male and female attacked the person I beat them threw them into a vehicle uh, stole their money cell phone <coughs> I forget what else and then I don't know if this person jumped you know drove them away so so you know you have assault battery kidnapping and uh, not sure if the person jumped from the vehicle or they threw the person from the vehicle. They then shot at the person. Uh, so you have, you know, attempted murder. Uh, now the same person uh, a week ago in Fort Worth went to an Applebee's uh, to pick up food to go came out and two men attacked them beat beat the person to the ground it kicked them repeatedly and uh, stole money and something else so uh, be careful wherever you are but by the way this person found out that at both of these Applebee's this at the, the first Applebee's where the male and female attacked this person a uh, person had been attacked there before and I think that person was also abducted and shot in the, I think the leg, but ended up being shot in the leg. At the second Applebee's, 
uh, somebody had also been attacked there. So I'm not sure if this is, you know, I'm sure location, location, location. But uh, be careful of your situation, you know, be aware of the what's going on around you. Let people know that you're not looking at a cell phone or uh, you're not paying attention or something. Be, you know, be careful. And I'm sure that <coughs> this may, may not be, it just may be that, you know, our Applebee's I think is kind of expensive. I ate there once. <coughs> I'm not sure if, if there are people who are watching people who come out of or maybe go into Applebee's thinking that they have more money because it's a more uh, classy restaurant than going into a McDonald's or a Taco Bell. <clears throat> or if this is just, uh, well, I, I have read that crime, you know, cr crime is getting really bad at Walmarts. So I, I think it's, I don't know. So do be aware of your situation. Do be, you know, please do be careful. Uh, that's from somebody who spent uh, over 30 years just working hospital security, not counting the other places that, you know, that I worked at. The first hospital that I worked at in uh, the intercity in a bad neighborhood. Uh, wasn't hop it wasn't happening on the hospital property, but at St. Joe Hospital. Uh, there for a while, people would be, elderly people or maybe people that were disabled would be taking the bus or something or maybe be walking from the neighborhood and they would be not on hospital property, but they would be coming to the hospital, disabled, using crutches, using walkers or whatever, and somebody would run up and grab their purse or their billfold or do something to them. And you know, that's before cell phones too, by the way. <clears throat> uh, a lot of times the people had to, you know, they suffered that trauma and that loss and then they'd have to work their way up and then come in the hospital and say, I was just robbed. So this is not something new, but people do need to be uh, in this situation of this person that I know um, that was down on the ground. Paramedics had to be, the person was taken to the hospital for, for injuries. <clears throat> Uh, people yelling, you know, stop, or you know, and people using their cell phones. I think if, if I think this person would have been maybe who knows, would have been really bad if the people hadn't stopped that were attacking them and run off because people were yelling and people uh, were probably using their cell phone. Not probably they did, you know, calling for help. Be careful. Be safe. Thank you very much for. Uh, watching.